using a voltmeter, you can check to see if you have any problem with any of your fuses. You can also use a test light. Um, a voltmeter is a real great way to see what kind of voltage you have. A test light, if it's lit nice and bright, um, that shows that uh, you're getting a, a very good signal, high amperage, and it can light that test light um, really well. If the test light seems dim, you could actually have a voltage issue, and uh, you might have to switch over to a voltmeter, which I'm going to be using to see what kind of voltage you have. You might have a voltage drop. Um, some common things are problems with ignition switches causing a voltage drop. But I have this hooked up. Um, negative cable. I have a jumper wire that goes up to an engine ground. Um, I ran the wire up through the door panel and up to the engine just to make things a little bit easier because I mean you can go right over here at uh, the door brake. Um, you could go right at the hinge with another jumper. Um, I like to use a, a, a good engine ground so I know I have a good connection. Sometimes these don't work so well. You can get a false signal. So all you really have to do is touch the positive lead to one end of the fuse to see what kind of reading you have. So I'm on that large 40 amp and I'm getting a nice 14.3 volt signal. And you could have voltage on one end but not on the other if the element is actually um, open on the inside of the fuse. So make sure you check both sides. 14.2 and of course these little mini fuses down in the corner there's those 15 amp fuses uh, fuse 56 and 57 the little blue ones on the left that uh, open when there's too much amperage and when that happens your door locks start stop to work on uh, E90 vehicles. So you could check that with your voltmeter to see if that's your problem. You just have to put the end on the it's a tiny little spot on these fuses. Let's see if I can get it on there. And 14 I'm moving. They're hard to actually keep right on that little spot. 14.2 on the other side. That tells me that that fuse is good. So if I did have an issue with my door locks, it's not going to be related to my fuse. Now this is some great testing that you can do. You could also do this testing on uh, on power wires going to specific components. Just have to hook up your voltmeter with the black side to ground and probe the positive side into the back of the wiring or if you disconnect the component you can go right to the pin to see if you're getting correct voltage and then at that point you can switch over to the ground and actually use um, an ohmic value to see if you have good continuity to ground. If you have power in ground and the module's not turning on, there's a high chance that that module's failed internally.